Submarines are self-contained warships that operate deep underwater, relying on advanced technology and tightly coordinated crews to survive and complete their missions. These vessels are capable of plunging to depths exceeding 1,000 feet, where the crushing force of the ocean is relentless. Living quarters, while undeniably cramped, are integrated with essential systems such as fire suppression to protect sailors in the event of disaster. Each rack comes with just a small compartment for personal belongings, forcing sailors to adapt to a minimalist lifestyle for months at a time. Despite the tight quarters, berthing becomes a place of rest and routine, providing a sense of personal space in an otherwise high-pressure environment. Every inch of space is carefully managed, yet crews still carve out room for treadmills, bikes, and resistance machines, ensuring sailors can maintain their fitness and endurance during long stretches beneath the ocean. On board, the crew is never without their essentials, soda, milk, ice water, and most importantly, a fully stocked coffee machine. As they prepare for their watch periods, culinary specialists from the CS division ensure that every meal is ready. On a typical deployment, a submarine carries roughly 15,000 pounds of food ranging from fresh fruits and vegetables to canned goods and frozen meat. Fresh items are especially valuable, and crews usually have access to them for only about the first two weeks at sea. Operating in a world isolated beneath the waves, careful supply management is essential, and that responsibility falls to the supply management officer known as the CHOP, who works to keep the crew fed and satisfied throughout the deployment. The galley is equipped with a griddle, two fryers, two ovens, and three large steam kettles, all working together to provide fresh, hot meals for sailors on duty. Within this small space, they craft everything from hearty Italian favorites to vibrant Mediterranean-inspired dishes, ensuring the crew experiences variety despite the monotony of submarine life. These galleys provide not just food, but a rare taste of normalcy, a connection to life ashore that is otherwise absent on deployment. Submarines are equipped with a small barber shop, to help crew members maintain hygiene and grooming standards during long deployments. Get your... It is crucial to maintain strict cleanliness standards on a submarine, where as many as 150 crew members share tight quarters for months at a time. Inside this self-sustaining ecosystem cut off from the outside world, submarines are equipped with medical facilities designed to handle a wide range of emergencies. <laughs> Sailors receive individualized care, from routine sick call visits to more specialized medical needs. And despite the tight, submerged environment, Submarines still make space for entertainment to support crew morale. Control serves as the nerve center of the entire vessel. This is where crews operate the submarine, managing its buoyancy, depth, and direction. Officers issue commands from here to the helm, often manned by some of the Navy's most junior enlisted sailors, 
while experienced senior enlisted personnel oversee navigation and stability. Control also houses the fire control team, working closely with sonar to track contacts and prevent collisions or threats. In emergencies, every casualty response is coordinated from this space, making it the hub of all submarine operations. Whether the mission comes from national leadership or U.S. Strategic Command, critical decisions originate here. Above all, control exists to keep the submarine safe in the water and ready to execute its most critical mission, including the launch of missiles. Out of the many critical systems that keep a submarine operating safely, navigation sits at the top of the list. Go a little bit deeper and our next step. Navigators depend on sonar bottom contour charts and the inertial navigation system to calculate the vessel's precise location and orientation. Seven two. Seven zero six eight. Hold on. Establish two. Inside the torpedo room, sailors operate the weapons launch console, the system that coordinates firing operations with fire control. The submarine is outfitted with four torpedo tubes, supported by a network of dollies, rails, and handling equipment designed to safely move heavy weapons into position. Even when no torpedoes are on board, the weapon handling system spans the entire tube loading area, ready for use at a moment's notice. The space is also prepared for emergencies, with damage control equipment like DC battle lanterns that provide critical lighting if the submarine loses power, allowing crews to keep operating under the most demanding conditions. On today's U.S. Navy submarines, space is so limited that when a boat carries extra personnel, sailors may still sleep inside the torpedo room. During training deployments, evaluations, or missions with additional riders on board, temporary bunks are set up among secured weapon stowage, all designed to safely support both crew and equipment. In these situations, the torpedo room becomes overflow berthing for sailors and trainees. Submariners often refer to this space as the bridal suite. Uh, this on my right hand side is a Mark 48 torpedo. Uh, this is what we use to defend the ship if necessary. Uh, as you know, we also have birthing down here right now. Um, that's what all these racks are for, these curtains. So, if you don't know, sleeping in the computer room actually isn't that bad. Um, you have more space than other places on the boat. Deep inside the submarine, CO2 scrubbers work around the clock to remove carbon dioxide from the air circulating throughout the vessel. Nearby, COH2 burners neutralize carbon monoxide and hydrogen, keeping the atmosphere safe for the crew. The submarine also generates its own drinking water with nuclear-powered systems converting otherwise undrinkable water into fresh, potable water through advanced reverse osmosis units ensuring the crew can operate independently beneath the surface for extended missions. The crew's laundry is managed in a compact space with just two washing machines and two dryers serving the entire submarine. To keep things running smoothly, sailors are assigned specific times, coordinated around their watch schedules, ensuring every crew member has the opportunity to clean their uniforms and gear while off duty. Another example of the careful planning required for life beneath the waves. For more than a century, the U.S. submarine force has operated at the cutting edge of national defense. What began as diesel-powered boats with limited range has evolved into nuclear-powered submarines that are among the most capable and stealthy warships ever built. 
But while the technology has transformed dramatically, one element has remained constant, the people. From the sailors aboard the first submarine stationed in Pearl Harbor to those standing watch today on Virginia-class boats, it is the crews beneath the surface that sustain the Navy's competitive edge and remain the true source of its undersea power. Huntington Ingalls Industries Foundry at Newport News Shipbuilding is a core part of the submarine production pipeline, supplying the heavy metal components that make up the Navy's most advanced undersea platforms. It begins supporting the construction process by melting, forming, and shaping the critical parts that will eventually be installed throughout the ship. The workflow includes heavy pour operations marked by a 21,000 pound molten metal pour The foundry teams then refine the material using advanced alloys and high-strength steels, preparing each batch for casting. Inside the 200,000 square foot facility, workers produce roughly 1,000 castings a year as the molds cool and solidify. These finished castings move next to assembly areas where technicians begin turning them into major submarine structures, such as the sail. The completed sail section is lifted by cranes and carefully lowered into position over its mounting point on the hull. Large shipyard transporters appear in the workflow as they carry massive components, like the submarine's stern, from one facility to another. The hull itself takes shape when welders join prefabricated steel sections together, forming the cylindrical pressure hull piece by piece. Throughout the build, coordination between design, fabrication, and maintenance teams keeps every stage aligned and on schedule. And the process culminates in a christening ceremony where shipbuilders, naval leaders, and guests gather to mark the submarine's major construction milestone. Submarines are launched by rolling the completed hull onto a specialized dry dock or floating platform, which is then slowly flooded to let the vessel become buoyant. Once it lifts free and stabilizes in the water, tugboats guide the submarine to a fitting out pier for final testing and system integration. ICEX, short for ICE exercise, is the U.S. Navy's biennial submarine operation conducted above the Arctic Circle. It gives submarines a rare opportunity to train in one of the most demanding environments on Earth while also supporting scientific research on sea ice thickness and Arctic conditions. During ICEX, temperatures can plunge to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit as submarines operate beneath a winter ice cover that can stretch across nearly 5.8 million square miles of the Arctic Ocean. To make the mission possible, materials are flown in and sailors work alongside scientists to build a temporary ice camp. Operating in the Arctic presents unique challenges, especially as the overhead ice canopy alters underwater acoustics and limits surfacing options. Angle, decreasing. 
upper velocity. They can remain submerged for months, surfacing only through thick ice when the mission demands it. Once a submarine punches through the Arctic ice during ISEX, crews immediately begin testing the boat's systems to ensure it can function reliably in one of the planet's harshest environments. Every system on a submarine is built to keep the crew safe, fed, and ready for any mission. Beneath the waves, these vessels run like precision machines, where teamwork and discipline make all the difference. For more deep dive videos like this, hit subscribe and check out the rest of the content on the channel.